Good evening. I want you, first of all, to look at this clock and to remember the time that it says just after 9.16. Now, the reason for asking you to do this right at the beginning of Panorama tonight has all to do with Vera, the vision electronic recording apparatus. The new machine, which is in programme service tonight for the first time at the BBC's research department at Nightingale Square in South London. There she is. You'll say that she looks like a large tape recorder. Well, that's really what it is. Only at the moment, this machine, Vera, is recording this programme, Panorama, and it's putting the sound and the picture all together onto a magnetic tape. This is a pretty remarkable achievement in British television, as I hope we'll be able to show you presently. But let me just for the moment ask the scientists down at Nightingale Square if they'll turn Vera off, please. Now, just like any other tape recorder, Vera can't replay until she's been rewound. And while they are rewinding her down there, I would like you to have a look at this. This is the tape that they use in Vera. It's perfectly ordinary magnetic recording tape, only on this tape there's a picture. You can't see it and nobody can. A picture as well as the sound. Now until this particular machine was developed during the last 10 years that we've been doing tele-recordings, we've been using a film camera. This is ordinary cinematograph film of the type that we used. The film camera took pictures off the end of a television tube during a program and of course put them onto film. The film had to be sent away across London to the laboratories to be developed and processed and then it had to be brought all the way back again to the studio before it could be transmitted. One of the first of these film tele-recordings that was made was of a Remembrance Sunday or Remembrance Day ceremony in Whitehall at the Cenotaph in November 1949. Tele-recordings have been used a good deal, of course, to preserve memorable studio programmes inside. A good many plays, some of the Eurovision relays from Europe. And without tele-recordings, we wouldn't have been able to show you this extract of the Bolshoi Ballet dancing last year. And now then for the new tele-recording by Vera. I want you, if you will, to look again at this clock and once again to note the time that it says, which is very nearly 9.20. When this clock jumps back suddenly, and my pen disappears, you're on the tele-recording by Vera. I want you, first of all, to look at this clock and to remember the time that it says just after 9.16. Now, the reason for asking you to do this right at the beginning of Panorama tonight has all to do with Vera, the vision electronic recording apparatus. The new machine, which is in programme service tonight for the first time at the BBC's research department at Nightingale Square in South London. There she is. You'll say that she looks like a large tape recorder. Well, that's really what it is. Only at the moment, this machine, Vera, is recording this programme, Panorama, and it's putting the sound and the picture all together onto a magnetic tape. This is a pretty remarkable achievement in British television, as I hope we'll be able to show you presently. But let me just for the moment ask the scientists down at Nightingale Square if they'll turn Vera off, please. <coughs> well, there you are. That's where we came in, in a way. That was the beginning of Panorama tonight, just about five minutes after I first did it. This is now me again, really. Now, possibly my face and that of a clock in the studio aren't a very exacting test for Vera, so we ought to give it something more lively to do. In fact, we have done. Uh, I dare say quite a lot of you this evening were watching a little earlier, 40 minutes or so ago, the Star Ballroom Dancing Championship. That has lots of movement in it, and I think may provide uh, a better test, even if it's people talking and not dancing. However, let's see uh, Vera's recording of that earlier programme. Do you remember this? You'll see the, the one I call the rat shaker, oh, where the I man know, yes. shakes his partner. <laughs> well, but apart right. from that, the standard's excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Back on the dance floor, we're watching the first of the heats in the second round. 
of the professional championship. There are two heats of 14 couples each. The four standard dances as usual. This morning, there were 67 entered for this most important event. Now they're reduced to 28. And at the end of well, there you are. Peter West, Victor Sylvester, Sylvia Peters and all. Now, uh, for the man who was the head of the team that developed this remarkable thing, Vera. Dr. Peter Axon. Dr. Axon, hello. Would you mind uh, telling me what you think are the three or the two most important characteristics of this machine of yours as far as programs go? Well, I would say that from the program point of view, the two great advantages are, first of all, the immediacy. That is, the speed with which we can replay a recording which we've made. We've just tried to demonstrate that here. Um, the time, in fact, taken to get your program back again is that merely to rewind the tape, start the machines, and there you are. The second advantage is, of course, the potential cheapness of the method. Um, most people know, I think, that this tape can be erased and used again. As to say, although we might have made a recording tonight, when we have finished with that recording, we can erase the tape and use it again. So each time we use the tape, the fraction of our cost of film goes down, of course. May I ask you when this is going to come into program operation for the BBC, other than a special demonstration in programmes tonight for Panorama? Well, as you know, this is a research laboratory, and uh, when the machine is to be put into regular operation, it will have to be taken to Lime Grove Studios, where it will operate under the proper conditions. Uh, we are going to do that within the next few days, and we hope to have it in full operation after we've had some practice and tests and got it properly into the system in about two months' time. Well, thank you very much indeed, Dr. Axon. I think you deserve congratulations for what you've done, you and your team, and I'm glad to have a chance of saying so publicly. Many thanks. Thank you very much.